hi 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 welcome to our youtube channel so if you're new here subscribe and follow our series today we're going to cook bean casserole so you see we have green beans potatoes tomatoes and onions and garlic these are our major major ingredients that we're going to use for today's cooking and it's gonna be delicious and healthy 100% our beans are here we used baked beans today and our ingredients are fully cut in cubes like perfect cubes you can see our potatoes our tomatoes our onions our garlic and our green beans are real cut so our beans are now washed perfectly three times to remove all the preservatives off to make them more healthy like yeah and now we're going to smash them a little bit this is a secret that i use because if you smash them then your soup is uh, is heavy you don't need these ingredients to make it heavy you already make it like the, the beans which are crushed help the soup to be like really really heavy and you don't need an entire other ingredient like to make it to make it heavy so now i'm crushing them and I'm done you can see don't crush everything just crush like a third of the beans so our pot now is on the stove and we're going to use oil one spoon oil two spoons oil three spoons oil because what I'm cooking is like is in big quantities so I use three spoons but usually one quantity I use one or two spoons now I put my I've, I shallow fry my potatoes this is to give them that golden look you know the golden look on the potatoes like it makes them even more delicious like when you eat the, it there's a difference between boiled and shallow fried so after a few minutes I add my onion cubes I use the full onion as you saw in the beginning I put my green beans some people call them French beans and then I add my tomatoes and garlic together perfectly perfectly made under low heat do not put the highest heat that you can have no we are cooking healthy food and it has to be well taken care of I add my salt one spoon tablespoon salt I add my powder curry powder I add my oregano one spoon I add my paprika one spoon yeah and i add this is the vegetable barbecue uh, spice i add also one spoon you can see that the ingredients are like not so many and it is simmering like slowly after this you put your beans inside and then you cover and simmer for around 10 to 15 minutes and it will look like this with a little bit of water you can see that it really looks nice and it's simmered very well and later it's plated on a nice plate you can see how it looks it's very healthy it doesn't have so many ingredients but it looks good and it tastes perfectly you can eat it with rice you can eat it with chapati you can eat it even alone like that with a little bit of vegetable on the side and you're good to go